Fruity formula controller. It's an effect you probably opened once, couldn't find a bass boost knob, and promptly discovered the sound goodizer. Well, I would like to give a shout out to my man, the Fruity Formula controller. It's um, it's uh, it's 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 really neat. <laughs> So the Fruity Formula controller is an internal automation controller that gives an output value between 0 and 1 based on inputs A, B, and C, where you get to define how these variables control the output value. And that output value can then be linked to any control found in various plugins, like right here I have the pitch of a simple oscillator linked to the output of the Formula controller. There's one preset in here that I typically use called randomness, and what this does is randomly choose a value between 0 and 1, scaled by B, and is centered at A. I would use this to create variation in some instruments to make them sound a bit more vintage. With some old analog synths, maybe there's some faulty electronics that cause unintended voltage fluctuations causing slightly different sounds, and that could be modeled by a random distribution. In this perspective though, I didn't find the randomness preset to be a realistic representation of natural randomness. A very common distribution found in nature is the Gaussian distribution, also known as a normal distribution. This distribution has some average value and some deviation from that average value. Here, I have recreated this distribution in the formula controller using something called the central limit theorem. If you don't know what that is, Google it. In my formula, there are actually two formula controllers where one is receiving the output from the other. You can adjust the mean and range just like the old preset, but the values seem to be a bit more centered at the mean. Furthermore, you can adjust the tension, sampling rate, and C to the function in the first formula controller. What's really nice about this formula is that it is a function of the song time. So you will get the same random values at the same point in your song. If you don't like the seed you got for whatever section in your song, you can change the seed to one of 10 seeds. I left the formulas in the description for you to use, but I also have a downloadable preset in Patcher. If you're gonna load this preset, I strongly recommend loading it in Patcher and making your instrument in that because otherwise you're going to have to link these controllers together every time you use it and when you have a really big project it can become very difficult to sift through all of the internal controllers. Especially if you don't name them.